Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got something a little bit different. I brought home a snapper lawnmower. It's powered by a 6.75 horsepower Briggs Quantum engine. And as luck would have it, this one cost me nothing. I was driving home, someone was cleaning out their shed and put a bunch of stuff to the curb for free. This being one of those items. So I scooped it up, threw it in the back of the car and have no idea if there's anything wrong with it. For all I know, it runs fine. But from looking at it, I can tell it's in pretty good shape. Nothing appears to be broken. There's no rot that I can see. And this seems to be a premium model. I mean, it's self-propelled. It has a single adjuster back there for all four wheels, and it has electric start. So this one would be a good mower to save if it needs saving at all. Maybe it's fine. Don't know. So let me get you set up a little bit better and we'll check a few things out and then try starting it. Hmm. Yeah, plenty of oil. It's not too bad. Beautiful, and the tank is dry. I've got the spark plug disconnected, so when I rotate this, there's no danger of accidentally starting. It even came with the scraper to clean it. So I always check the blade on anything new like this. I've gotten a few that have had damaged blades or loose blades or even worse, just the wrong blade altogether. In this case, I think we're good. I'm not seeing really any signs of damage. I'm sure it needs to be sharpened, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I am gonna put a wrench on that, just torque down to about 30 foot-pounds to make sure that we're tight. I can come back to this later and just torque it to the proper spec. I don't know offhand what this one should be, but generally they are around 30 to 40 foot pounds.
Okay, I'm gonna pull this thing over a few times and see if we get anything from the engine. I can't say I'm that surprised. I mean, the tank was bone dry. Most likely this was stored properly. I mean, it started the second pull and the drive wheels work. I actually am surprised. I wasn't expecting that. The cable seemed a bit stiff, like it was not gonna engage, but it seems fine. So really the only issue left is the battery. So we'll get this back inside, take this off and see if we can't get the electric start to work. We're at 1.22 volts. So this battery is pretty dead. Uh, I am gonna charge it a bit, see if it comes back, but most likely it needs to be replaced. Yeah, it's not, it's not really taking a charge. It's no surprise. I'm sure the battery is severely sulfated. So. Not a big deal. We'll get a new one of these ordered. And I guess before I do that, let me hook up a good battery and try cranking it, make sure everything is good with the electric start. Okay, it works fine. It is a bit weak, so I don't know if there's something else going on, but at least we know the starter works, the key switch works. We just need a battery. Okay, the battery showed up today. It was only 20 bucks and well worth it. I mean, I have nothing invested on the, in this machine. I think adding electric start will be attractive to quite a few people. The one thing I didn't think of though is that this does not have a charging system. When you're done using the mower, you're supposed to unplug it and plug this into a wall adapter. Of course, I don't have that adapter. I did take a look. They still sell it, but it's about $50 once you factor in tax and shipping, which is not worth it. So instead, I'm just gonna hook up these charging leads and that'll let me put on a battery tender, which is half the price and probably a better charger anyway. going to use the zip tie as a shim to help start that bolt.
Nice. I've already caught myself pretty good on this bolt a few times. I guess the cheap thing to do would be just to turn it around and face it in. That's probably how it should have been installed, but that's not the right part. You know, it is supposed to have kind of a quick release knob so you can fold this down. So I picked one up and also got the correct length bolt. And you know I couldn't let this go. It is missing a hubcap, so I got a new one. Unfortunately, this one doesn't really snap in place. So I pulled the cap off on the other side, measured this up, and the new one is one one-hundredth of an inch wider in diameter. This old one, the one that's a hundredth of an inch smaller, absolutely fits, and I can snap it in place. Not so much with this one. So I can glue it on, but then you can't access this nut. So I want to try a little bit of Teflon to just add a bit of thickness and see if that'll let me snap that in. That should do. It's a nice mower. I can't believe someone gave this away for free. I was kind of hoping that there'd be more wrong with it. Makes for a short video, but this thing's in good shape. It runs well. It only needed some minor things. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's a bit of an upgrade from the one I use every day. It's gonna be a while though before I get to use it. It is the middle of winter, but I look forward to using it. So hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.